What is a Solana domain? How do you get one? And why would you want one? Here's a quick guide. So what is a Solana domain? It's another way to represent your public address. Instead of having some long line of text and numbers, you can tell exchanges, your friends, or another wallet, send Solana to cowboytrades.sol and avoid the copy-paste address. In short, it's basically a username. So, why would you want one? It makes sending funds easier, it's a cool username, and if you pick a good domain, you might be able to sell it for more in the future. Here's an example of me on Phantom using this. So I'm gonna come over to my Solana, I'm gonna click send, I'll click on Solana. I'm gonna type in my domain name, cowboytrades.sol. Now I'm gonna come over and click send, confirm send, and sign the transaction and it's sent. Now if I come into my wallet, which is associated with cowboytrades.sol, you can see in my recent activity, I've just received that 0.1 sol. So how do you get one? How can you send it to a different address and how can you sell it? First of all, head over to bonfire.org or type in Solana naming service on Google. I will also leave the link to this down below so you can make sure you're on the right website. Come down to the middle and click get your domain now. Now while you're here to make things easier, make sure you're logged in on something like Phantom to the wallet that you want to associate your new domain with. For me, I'm going to create a new domain for my dgen6 wallet, which is like my sixth dgen meme coin wallet. At that point, you want to come up to the top and connect your wallet. Click connect and you can see we've just signed it. Now there's two different things you can do from here. You can search domains and see if one's available or you can buy one on the secondary market. Namely Magic Eden sells domain names. But if you come up to browse and then come down to listed, you can also see if you need some inspiration, a bunch of different addresses which are listed for sale. But anyway, I know the domain that I want, so I'm going to search for it. I'm going to search for childsupport.sol. Now, as you can see, childsupport.sol, this domain is taken. You can see the owner's address here. What you can do if you want it is you can click to make an offer and you can submit an offer to them. However, I'm just going to pick a similar wallet. So I'm going to search for childsupportfund.sol. And as you can see, this domain is available. And if you're happy with that, you can click add to cart if you plan on buying multiple, or you can just click on quick buy. So I'm gonna click on quick buy. I don't have any USDC in my wallet, so I'm gonna click on Solana. I'm going to register that domain now. They've sent a transaction, so I'm gonna confirm it. I just signed the transaction on my ledger. Now you've signed that transaction, it should have registered. So let's now go back to our profile. In the top right, you can click view profile. And as you can see, if the domain was successfully registered, you should have that new domain. Now, with domains, you can't directly send them to a different wallet if you want that domain to be for a different wallet. So if you want to send this domain to a different wallet, or if you want to list it on something like an NFT marketplace, click the wrap button here. And basically what this will do is this will allow you to sell your domain to a larger audience on a variety of NFT marketplaces. You can wrap your domain into an NFT, and then you can also unwrap your NFT domain at any time to redeem the name. No one can take it if you've wrapped it or unwrapped it. Now, for some reason, at least right now, if you just come and click the wrap button, it doesn't work too well. So full screen this and then click on this kind of box bonfire logo right here and then click wrap domain into NFT. And there we go. Once you sign the transaction, it will say transaction complete. At this stage, if you now come over to your Phantom wallet and click where your NFTs are, you'll see your Solana domain. Now, if you want to send your NFT domain, do it like you would do with any other NFT. Just click on the NFT you want to send, click send, and then send it to the correct address. And if you want to list it, come over to, say, Magic Eden, type in the Bonfire to Solana naming service, and then you can click on My Items, and you can see this is the domain that we just bought. If I want to list this for, say, 10 Solana, you could do that and then click Submit Listing. Now also note, if you send funds to your domain, it will come through completely fine. But if you wrap your domain into an NFT, you won't instantly receive those funds. You'll receive those funds after the domain has been unwrapped. Anyway, I'm going to come back over to the domain and I'm going to unwrap this because I do just want this as a domain. I don't want to sell it. I don't want to transfer it. I'm going to send that transaction through, confirm it, and now our domain has successfully been recovered. You'll now see the NFT has disappeared from our wallet. There is also one final thing to note, that the domain will not appear in most Web3 wallets. What you can do to make sure the domain has gone through is head over to the wallet that you just assigned the domain to, copy the public address, and paste it into something like SoulScan. Once you paste it, it will turn up with your address, and then you can come over to this segment over here, and you can see 
if any domains are registered in this name. So that's everything you need to know about Solana naming services. One final thing that I will leave you on is Previously, there have been some airdrops that have been done to different communities, and if you have had an SNS domain, sometimes you would have received a airdrop multiplier. So it's just one further incentive. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more educational content and smash like on the way out. Peace.